Hey there, today we're going to learn how to do a binomial confidence interval in Stata. So the first thing that we need, of course, for all analysis, whatever it is, is data. And I'm going to create some for you so that you don't have to worry about creating it yourself. Um, and then we can kind of talk our way through it and how this would apply to your data. Well, what I've done here is I've created 111 values and I have an outcome that's binary and I've called it SUP for support. And let's say that this is support for a law and, you know, rejects means that someone doesn't support it and supports means that someone does support it. So it's a zero one system and I've coded reject um, as zero and support as one. And I also have males and females in my data set with females coded as one and males as zero. Well, let's just go ahead and run the command and then talk you through what it is and what it means. In Stata, if you have a proportion of something, right, and here we have a proportion of support, we want to use the command CI proportions and then just add in that variable that you're interested in, which is sub for us. And here we come up with some pretty interesting information. So about 51.35% of the sample supports whatever this is, whatever this law is, but the binomial 95% confidence interval based on proportions ends up being between about 41.7 and about 61%. So we actually have a 90%, 95% confidence interval for that. And if you wanted to tweak that, stat actually gives you a lot of command over it. So you could just do comma level, and then you could do like, let's say 99 then you would get a 99% confidence interval, or you could go back down to 90, get a 90% um, confidence interval, which is pretty handy, much, much easier than doing it by hand. And Stata also has this really nice feature where by typing in by gender comma sort colon, and then repeating our command, just adding in this prefix uh, subsets the outcome by gender which is really cool. So here you can see that, you know, for males, the proportion is about 47.17%. For females, it's 51.17%. And we also have the 95% confidence interval overlap. Now, because of that overlap, you know, you could probably conclude that males and females have um, very similar levels of support. But I'm going to also show you how if we have a binomial confidence interval, um, typically we can also apply a logistic regression with odds ratio reporting, which is um, pretty cool for two reasons. One, it can give you an actual p-value for the analysis um, instead of having to compare those intervals. And number two, it's just a more formal thing to do in terms of um, you know reporting results. So here's what I did. Let me show you my code and the outcome. I created a logistic regression model with the outcome being support and the predictor being gender and comma OR told me that I just wanted the odds ratio. So here, because men are coded as zero and women as one, and we can confirm that by going back to our code book and saying, oh, women are one, men are zero, um, support is one, reject is zero. So given that coding structure, um, an odds ratio greater than one means that if um, somebody is female, then the odds of their supporting actually are, let me show you here, which would be about 37% greater than a male supporting the uh, law or whatever it is. However, it is not statistically significant. And, you know, we could kind of have concluded that by looking at the substantial overlap here between males and females in the binomial confidence interval. But again, that didn't have a p-value, so it really helped that you know we did the logistic regression and got that interpretation. I do recommend that you watch the logistic regression video because there I kind of separately talk you through interpretation, um, which can be difficult. But here I hope that you learned how to properly apply and derive the not just the point estimate for proportions, but the binomial 95% confidence interval proportions using Stata.